So cadets, in last period, we discuss about buffer solution and mechanism of buffer solution. This we have two types of buffer solution: acidic buffer and basic buffer. And how this acidic buffer and basic buffer maintain their pH even by the addition of small amount of strong acid and strong base. Today, we have to discuss about the types of salts and hydrolysis of salt. Types of salts and hydrolysis of salt. You know what is meant by salt and how it is prepared. Salt is nothing but the any electrolyte which contains positive and negative ions. Positive and negative ions. And how it is prepared? You know that. When one mole of acid is combined with one mole of base, under the neutralization to produce salt with water. Arrhenius ki theory thi. Is Arrhenius ki theory mein humne dekha ki jab hum acid ke saath mein base combine karte hai, neutralization hota hai aur salt ke saath mein water gaya hota hai. Humne limitation mein alag baat bhi batai thi. How Arrhenius theory failed to explain neutralization. But salt is prepared. Here I have to keep in mind. Salt is obtained by the combination of acid and base. So here I have to say, salt is obtained by the combination of acid and base. And you know, acids are of two types, and salt uh, base is uh, also of uh, is of two types. Strong acid and weak acid, strong base and weak base. Arrhenius ka nusa, the substance which when dissolved in water produces large number of H plus ions are called strong acids. And which produces less number of H plus ions are called weak base. Similarly, in case of base, the substances which when dissolved in water produces large number of OH minus ions are called strong base. And the substances which when dissolved in water and produces less number of OH minus ions are called weak base. Agar hum here char ka combination karte hai. Strong acid, weak acid, strong base and weak base. To hume char type ke source mele. कितने टाइप के सॉल्ट मिलेंगे? चार टाइप के सॉल्ट्स मिलेंगे। कैसे देखते हैं? If we react or if we combine strong acid and strong base, strong acid and strong base, both are strong. Then whatever the salt is obtained, that salt is of strong acid and strong base. So see. First combination, when strong acid combines with strong base, then salt of strong acid and strong base can be obtained. You know the examples of strong acid? HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, these are strong acid. NaOH, KOH. These are strong bases. So, when these are combined, water molecule, H plus from acid, OH minus from base, they go off and remaining is salt. So, when we combine HCl and NH, this OH and this H will be go off and remaining is NCl. In this way, if we react all these, in then the examples of this type, this type of salt is NaCl, KCl, K2SO4, Na2SO4, NaNO3, KNO3. All these are sort of strong acid and strong base. 
Second combination. When strong acid is combined with weak base. Strong acid combines with weak base. Then salt of strong acid and weak base can be obtained. So, this is the combine of hydrogen acid and base OH minus. Water molecule goes up and salt is obtained. So, NH4 is here. Weak base is a combined here. NH4 is here. CaCl2, MgCl2, CaSO4, MgSO4. CaNO3 by 2, MgNO3 by 2, all these are examples of salt of strong acid and weak base. Now, what is the possibility of third combination? Third combination, weak acid and strong base. So, salt of weak acid and strong base. Examples you know, weak acid CH3COH, H2CO3. Strong base NOH, KOH. So CH3COONA, CH3COOK, Na2CO3, K2CO3. All these are the examples of sort of weak acid and strong base. Now, last co combination is last combination possible weak acid and weak base. Weak acid and weak base. You know the examples of weak acid as well as weak base. Combine this. So on combination water molecules are both up. And remaining is salt. So CH3COONH4, CaCO3, MgCO3, these are the examples of salt of weak acid and weak base. So we can say that. There are four types of salts, salt of strong acid and strong base. Salt of strong acid and weak base. Salt of weak acid and strong base. And salt of weak acid and weak base. So, आज हमें इनका hydrolysis देखना है. How they hydrolyze? What happens when they hydrolyze? Whether they hydrolyze or not hydrolyze? All possibilities we have to study. So, for that you should know some of the definitions. It is important to study the definitions. Process of hydrolysis, what is degree of hydrolysis, and what is hydrolysis constant. So, see, first, what is hydrolysis? You know that salts contain positive and negative ions, that means cations and anions. So, when cations and anions from the salt react with water, Hydrolysis is nothing but the reaction with water. So, cations and anions from the salt react with water to produce either acidic solution, basic solution, or neutral solution. In some time, in some cases, neutral solution may also occur. Therefore, what is mean by hydrolysis of salt? The process in which cations and anions of salt of salt reacts with water to produce acidic or basic or neutral solution is known as hydrolysis of salt. Is that it? Now see. What is meant by degree of hydrolysis? Degree of ionization, degree of dissociation, 
What is degree of ionization? What is degree of dissociation? The number of moles ionized or dissociated at an equilibrium that means total number of moles taken for ionization or dissociation. It is denoted by degree of dissociation or degree of ionization. And it is denoted by alpha. Similar to that. Similar to degree of ionization, degree of dissociation. There is a degree of hydrolysis. जितने मोल्स लिए हैं हाइड्रोलिसिस के लिए उसमें से कितने मोल डिसोसिएट हुए दैट मींस द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हाइड्रोलाइज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हाइड्रोलाइज एट एन इक्विलिब्रियम एट एन इक्विलिब्रियम का मतलब होता है नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हाइड्रोलाइज दैट टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स टेकन फॉर हाइड्रोलिसिस हमने 100 मोल्स लिए हाइड्रोलिसिस के लिए और उसमें से 30 मोल्स डिसोसिएट हुए। 70 रिमेंस कांस्टेंट। देर डर नॉट अंडर वो हाइड्रोलिसिस। देन दी डिग्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस इस 30 डिवाइडेड बाय 100। दिस डिग्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस इस डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल एच। सो व्हाट इज Degree of hydrolysis. The ratio of number of moles of salt hydrolyzed at an equilibrium, that means total number of moles taken for hydrolysis, it is known as degree of hydrolysis denoted by H. So, degree of hydrolysis H equals to Number of moles hydrolyzed upon total number of moles of salt taken for hydrolysis. Isn't it? Now, what is hydrolysis constant? That's a dissociation constant, tha, ionization constant. Tha. Usi se, ye hai hydrolysis constant. Hydrolysis ka equation ho ga. Cations and anions combines with water. So, this is a chemical equation. Positive ion plus negative ion combined with water produces either acidic or basic or neutral solution. Other is equation O. Hydrolysis equation O. How law of mass action apply? You know what is law of mass action? Product of equilibrium constant of product side upon product of concentration of reactor it is not nothing but the law of mass action so we can say that let us consider Ba is the salt which dissociates as B plus and A minus so Ba when hydrolyze, it produces BOH base and HA acid. HA acid. If we apply a law of mass action, what happens? Concentration of product. Product of concentration of product. Product is here. Concentration of BOH into concentration of HA upon con concentration of reactor and reactor is Ba and H2 Ba and H2 so this is equilibrium constant here K is now equilibrium constant but you know that water is weak electrolyte it is a, it is solvent and taken in excess Hence, concentration of water remains constant. Let the concentration of water is K dash. So, here becomes BOH, concentration of BOH into concentration of HA upon concentration of BA into K dash. This K and K dash, if we 
केदार उठाकर इस साइड में लाते हैं इट बिकम्स के इन टू केदार एंड दैट के इन टू केदार इज नथिंग बट द हाइड्रोलिसिस कांस्टेंट के एच सो के एच बिकम्स कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ बी ओ एच इनटू कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच ए अपॉन कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ बी ए सो व्हाट विल बी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस कांस्टेंट the equilibrium constant of ten by applying law of mass action to hydrolysis equation of a solid is known as hydrolysis constant and it is denoted by kh so cadets abhi abhi humne types of solid dekhe aur hydrolysis kya hota hai hydrolysis डिग्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस क्या है और हाइड्रोलिसिस कांस्टेंट क्या है ये हमने देखा नाउ जैसा मैंने कहा डिफरेंट सॉल्ट ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस प्रोड्यूसेस डिफरेंट सॉल्यूशन दे मे बी प्रोड्यूस एसिडिक सॉल्यूशन दे मे बी प्रोड्यूस बेसिक सॉल्यूशन न्यूट्रल सॉल्यूशन और दे मे डज नॉट अंडरगो द हाइड्रोलिसिस हाउ तो पहला सॉल्ट कौन सा था Salt of strong acid and strong base. Salt of strong acid and strong base. So salt, ये salt hydrolysis में नहीं रहता. और इसलिए exam में question पूछा जा सकता है. Explain. Salt of strong acid and strong base does not undergo hydrolysis. इसका एग्जाम्पल भी हम लेटेस्ट कंसिडर तो देख शो है और एक्सप्लेन सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस डज नॉट अंडरगोज हाइड्रोलिसिस सॉल्ट बी ए एक सॉल्ट है बी ए विच इज ऑप्टेन By the combination of strong acid H and strong base BOH, जब ये let a salt be a of strong acid H and strong base BOH, ये H plus from acid and OH minus ion from base goes up and remaining is B A. So B A which dissociates as B plus and A minus. बी ए का अगर डिसोसिएशन करते हैं तो ये कैसा होगा बी प्लस एंड ए माइनस सो ये ऑप्टेन कैसे हुआ था ऑप्टेन हुआ था बी ओ एच बेस एंड एसिड वन मूल ऑफ एसिड एसिड इज एच ए सो B is positive, OH is negative. H yes is positive, A is negative. So OH and H both are water molecule, and remaining is BA. So BA possesses B possesses positive charge and A possesses negative charge. So overall it is neutral, but it is ionic compound. But it is ionic compound. So easily I have B plus and A minus S are. So B A dissociates as B plus and A minus. अब इसका हाइड्रोलिसिस करो. Water में डालो. या इसमें water डालो. Hydrolysis होगा. Hydrolysis अगर होता है B plus plus A minus on reaction with water. That means on hydrolysis again produces this is a reversible process. So B O H Strong base and yet a strong acid. But you know, according to Arrhenius, sort of strong acid and strong base. Strong acid क्या करता है? Completely dissociates and produces more electrons. Strong base क्या करता है? Completely dissociates and produces more number of OH minus. So both are strong. So both are completely dissociates. Both are completely dissociates. 
So, BOH completely dissociates as B plus and OH minus. And HA completely dissociates as H plus and A minus. So, whatever the BOH and HA which is obtained, it completely dissociates. BOH dissociates as B plus and OH minus. HA dissociates as H plus and A minus. Therefore, by substituting these values of BOH and HA, the hydrolysis equation becomes B plus plus A minus plus H2O. This is completely dissociated B plus plus OH minus plus H plus plus A minus. So, B plus plus A minus plus H2O, B plus plus OH minus plus H plus plus A minus. Now cancel the common ions. Don't know what you your common ions and say cancel them. This B plus cancel with this B plus. This A minus cancel with this A minus. Therefore, what is the remaining equation? Remaining equation is H2O dissociates as OH minus and H plus. H2O dissociates as OH minus and H plus. So overall whatever the equation obtained, it is nothing but the dissociation of water. And hence we can say that salt of strong acid and strong base never undergoes hydrolysis. Other is the example let me. Example me yeah hydrolysis you know example of sort of strong acid and strong base let us consider NaCl what are the example of sort of strong acid and strong base which dissociates as Na plus and Cl minus now, what happens when this is hydrolyzed? When it is hydrolyzed, Na plus plus Cl minus plus water H2O, it produces NaOH plus HCl, NaOH plus HCl. You know it is strong base, HCl is strong acid, hence completely dissociates, NaCl completely dissociates as Na plus and Cl minus. Similarly, acid HCl, which is a strong one, it is completely dissociates as H plus and Cl minus. Na plus plus Cl minus plus H2O it dissociates hydrolyzed as you will be able to do it. Na plus plus OH minus Na plus plus OH minus plus H plus plus Cl minus. Cancel the common ions. On cancelling common ions, Na plus cancel with this Na plus. Cl minus cancel with this Cl minus. Therefore, this equation becomes H2O dissociates as H plus and OH minus. So overall the equation is that overall the equation is that H2O dissociates as H plus and OH minus. So when we start to get a strong acid, strong base coming to the top, the final equation is here. It indicates that salt of strong acid and strong base never undergoes hydrolysis.